Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. It's been about five weeks since I last played this game, so I'm gonna be a little bit fuzzy on exactly where I was in the story. But I do remember that the last thing we did was go into that strange place where all of the, the tubes in this town led to. Yeah, I followed all of those tubes to that place and talked with the engineer and had that whole encounter with the engineer and that other guy and looking at that massive, massive, like, number-crunching machine and all that, all that really, really strange machinery. Still not entirely sure what all that stuff is, but that was about the last thing that happened. Also, one thing I totally forgot, like, a month ago is, if you remember, I, uh, I basically drugged the guy that was, I think, sitting, like, right here. I drugged him and then I stole his tools. Well, I was supposed to bring the tools back, and I didn't. So that's probably going to be a thing that's going to come up. I kind of forgot to return the tools, so he's going to be... You know, he, he woke up and saw his tools missing, so that's probably going to have some repercussions. Alright, see what's going on with everybody. Kion, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken... yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. Uh, we have no time to spare. Why, why is we must get moving? to him before. The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here for one child's life. Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens. When we let Azadi criminals live. Stop it. That's not what happened, and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why, and I know what the pipes are for. His mouth what? still isn't really? moving. Serious? What is going on? Keon, what's wrong later. with your face? Right now, we need to rescue the boy. This is I so weird. I couldn't care less what you do with your life, Keon. But if you die, the Resistance suffers. And if I don't go after him, Bip suffers. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And Naane has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy. <laughs> we can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey, how did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors. With Stop it, both of you! Is he it's communicating really annoying, telepathically now? Loud. Is that something that happened? Is that something I didn't remember happening? All of it gets in Did he gain telepathic powers? Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. I'm sorry for talking over the dialogue, but Kian communicating telepathically is just a little bit strange. It was kind of distracting. Following the terrorist attack on Propast, where eight I officers and five civilians were killed by Marxist party members. The Syndicate has promised to maintain heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming elections. The Propast district remains under full I lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propast. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted, almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the district as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. What about essentials like food and water, Marek? Are any stores or restaurants still open? I think this Everything is, is closed, Rika, mm, but good. rations are distributed to mm. residents Let's give it one more stir, on a regular just in case. basis. Uh, medical personnel are on constant standby. No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has there been any indication of how long this lockdown will continue? The Syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have hinted that Propast will remain under Syndicate guardianship until after the election in... 
We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in Propast. We will attempt to re-establish the connection. In the meantime, when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her dark and... Whoa. Shit. Power's out. Again. I'm sure they're doing this just to screw with us. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. It's ironic that the, uh, the reporter on the TV was just mentioning about a dark history or something like that, and then everything went dark. <laughs> Creepy. Also, I heard about, um, about Zoe's kind of redesign and her new hairdo and new look, and it looks really cool. And look at that adorable Wonkers hoodie. I want that. Like, I want to buy a hoodie like that. <laughs> All right, let's get the power on, if for no other reason than so I can admire Zoe's new hairdo. Uh, where'd she say? Fuel cell in the... in the something? Definitely an energy cell or fuel cell in the something. I don't remember what the something was. Like, the closet? Down here? Oh, hello. It's my emergency fuel cell. I can jiggle it a bit. That sometimes works. Nope, that did not work. I guess I need a new one. And I know just the person. And who would that be? Oh, right, Mira at the Pandemonium. Yeah, she would have, uh, she would definitely have energy cells. Can I just sit in the dark? Oh, that's depressing. Oh, that's really depressing. So I can sit in the dark and eat my warm food that I just made, or I can go get a energy cell, bring it back, and then my food is going to be cold. I don't much like either option. Let's look at the beautiful rain effects on the window again. Look at how freaking ridiculously good the rain effects are. And I thought Bioshock did a really good job with water and with rain and stuff like that. But I think this is even better. Hey, I can see Zoe's had a lot of, uh... Got some scars, and I guess she's gotten some work done on the side of her face. I guess she got really hurt from the blast. Alright, let's go. See if I still remember how to navigate around Propast. I think I do, kind of. I know where the Pandemonium is, at least. I know it's along the docks. Zoe Maya Castillo, your district is subject to syndicate mandated martial law. Please submit an approved destination or return to your home. Oh, fuck off. Thank you. The Pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please, don't talk. I guess I don't even need to remember how to get there, because this thing's just going to take me. First sign you're living in a military state? An armed drone escorts you everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's nobody around here but security. Creepy. Alright, let's go. Is that thing actually following me? Oh, yeah, it is. We are authorized to use deadly force. Stay close to your escort and don't deviate no more from the path. For these guys. We're not They're fucking around anymore. They actually we shoot people. to kill now. This place used to be bustling with trade, and now there's not a single person. Everything's closed. No customers, no permits. One second, I feel like the voices are a little bit quiet. Can I change that in the audio? Eh, it's already... I already have the dialogue cranked up quite a bit. I guess I'll leave it. Oh, 
Ah, oh, mysteriously disappearing This hatch. is not an approved direction. Yeah, blah, blah, Please blah. Please continue along your pre-approved path. That mysterious hatch over there that wasn't there before and then suddenly appeared is, is still there. Still don't know what was up with that. Still don't know if that was a bug or something else. Look what the bot dragged in. Maybe it's something I ate, but I actually feel relieved to see you, Petal. Are you all right? I'm really not. You? You know, Wit is not exactly vivacious company. It's been quiet around here since we closed shop. I apologize for firing you with a pre-recorded message, by the way. Company policy. Oh, don't worry about it. You said you closed shop. There's no business. We don't even have wire access. It's like being on a really shitty desert island without sun, sand or coconuts. Or wire access. We're actually thinking about heading back to Mumbai. Well, I'm thinking about it. We will tag along wherever the road takes us. Anyway, you're here for your dreamer. What? I fixed it. You had your dream machine delivered to me because it was broken about a month ago. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up. He looked like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out, but he was very personable. What was wrong with it? An early batch, bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Watty servers with a device ID and your biometric data as soon as you connect. That won't be a problem unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Watty. There are unlicensed dreamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in Propast. Given the trigger-happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? Oh, uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Kutia. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Anything particular you're in the market for? The cheapest you have. Grab one from that box over there. They're refurbished cells, but they'll keep your apartment going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. I'll refill it for you. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see if uh, Wit has anything to say. I'm sure he doesn't. I'm going to miss Wit. I don't know why exactly, since we've never had a conversation, but I'll still miss the big guy. There's a lot going on inside that head of his. So how much do I owe you? Consider it your severance package. If we're ever back in business, there will be a job for you. You're not too bad, Kurtia, despite appearances. Uh, thanks, I guess. If I try that, I believe Mira might actually stab me with a screwdriver in the face. I think I've looked at everything that's in here before, so let's just go. Wait, what happened to that data I decrypted for you? Who did you end up giving it to? I gave it to the hand, but before they could publish it... They were shut down. Where's the data now? With Reza, in Iceland. Iceland. The final refuge of rogue journalists. You didn't keep a copy? I didn't want to risk it. Stupid, I know. You may have just saved your ass. Too bad about the story, though. When is your Jorbo coming back? I really don't know. When they feel it's safe, I guess. That story needs to run, Kutria. Whatever it takes, make it happen. All right, let's head back to my apartment, get the power going. Am I actually going to use this dreamer? 
I'm really scared too. I really don't want to. You have expended your daily time out. I will now accompany you back to your registered domicile. Don't bother. I know the way. Every step you take, I'll be watching you, as mandated by martial law. How about every breath I... Hello? Does Queenie want to meet with me? Miss Castillo? Queenie is requesting your immediate audience. Sure, but... Uh, what about my... Uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Oh my. You can come on board now. What is wrong with her eyes? We do our best. What the fuck is wrong with her eyes? That's... Uh, that's terrifying. Back on your feet, Zoe. I was hoping to see you again before I left. You're leaving? I heard the hand was shut down. You had friends there. Good friends. Boyfriend. The hand was going to publish an article about Watercorp conspiring with both Unity and European Dawn when the Syndicate shut them down. But they still have the evidence. My boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data's safe there, but the hand hasn't been able to publish it. There's still a chance to make things right then. This is why I wanted to speak with you. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nella. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nella was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe, but I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why. Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... Your friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was rigged. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP. How do you know this? Nela needed someone to help her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to Watikorp, Zoe. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. I'm leaving. This city is infected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too. But first, there's something you must do. Your memories, they're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here and elsewhere. How do you- I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up. You can come out now. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hana. You told her about- There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. 
Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guess when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller, and the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides, indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. If you know where to look, do you have to leave? They know I'm here now. Watticorp has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose thread. I promise I'll find you again, Hannah. Your journey is just beginning. There are wonderful things in store for you. I get the feeling that Queenie is just about to fly away on her magic hovering chair just off into the sky. And that's what she means by leaving. I don't feel like she needs any bags or needs to pack or take a plane or whatever. I think she's just going to fly off into the sky. But for now, your job is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter. See? She's flying away. Goodbye. <laughs> she left her floating teacup. <gasps> I don't know why that's so funny. I just imagine her flying away on her floating chair for like 10 hours to wherever she's going. Hmm. Some, this feels ominous. Uh... Uh, wait a minute, where's my food? The food is on the table. What the hell? Uh, someone has been here? Let's get the lights on. It's my emergency fuel cell. <laughs> yeah, where's the food? It's time to remember, enter dream time. Oh, I really don't want to. For the life of me, I can't remember asking Mira to fix this. Am I losing my mind? I mean, I was in the hospital for severe trauma and that's after spending a year in a coma. I never knew my mother, but I've been told that in many ways she's the opposite of my father. Gabrielle never makes hasty choices. Gabriel ponders, and when his mind's made up, he'll stick with his decision until the end. My mother's impulsive, mercurial. If the wind changes, she'll let herself be swept away with it, as long as it's to her benefit. She put me in a coma. I'm not a big fan. But maybe it's time I accept some risks. After all, I keep telling everyone I want to remember. I need to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. It's the only way to save the future. Can I get up or do I actually have to do this right now? I kind of wanted to look around the apartment. Not that it would matter much. Nope, looks like I'm stuck. Okay. Here we go. It's time to wake up, Queenie said. By entering the dream world? How does that make any sense? You returned, but you were still not here. 
You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What the heck was that? <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? Hey! Uh, your crow. Your crow, I remember you. You do? I am. Wait, I remember you too. Of course you do, it's me. Don't Zoe. say anything, I've got this. Lorelei, baby cakes, schnoodlebum. Who? I'm- Agneta, I'm sorry. Uh, how have you been? That's not- Look, Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice, I was needed- I'm not Agneta, I'm- Auntie May? No, Zoe. Where? Oh, oh, Zoe, yes, yes, yes. The girl who was dreaming. You look different. Are you sure you're you? <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while, maybe that's... <sighs> what are you doing here, Crow? Are you really here? Let me check. Yep. All here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Yeah, my question too. Oh, well, Nelly, I didn't expect that. Uh, you, uh, you were memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No, no. I was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right. I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. <laughs> How have you been? I will not complain. Oh, I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. Except for you, Crow. You're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So why didn't I make it across? The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming, only half there. You will need to be all there, and soon, or it was too late. But you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just... Hmm? Oh, that's happening in the real world. Oh, dodge or distract? Dodge. Uh... I think I fucked up. <gasps> yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I've been playing too much Life is Strange, I didn't do that correctly. There we go. You must go, now. What? What's going on? Who? Who are- There's little time. They are coming. But- The hallway is clear. Leave, Fräulein. Schnell. That's the German guy that, uh, that Mira mentioned. <coughs> Holy shit. Zoe! Over here, quickly! This way. Where are we going? We need to get off the streets. Did Queenie send you? She said that you needed help. She's been keeping an eye out for me ever since you told her where to find me. I'm sorry, she asked. I figured I could trust her. Why did you tell Queenie I wasn't doing so well? You weren't. That's not the point. I said I was fine. It wasn't up for interpretation. Sometimes it's better to just let people know rather than keep pretending. The eyes will be here soon. We need to go underground. How's that gonna help? We can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever. Trust me. What is this place? The world beneath. A network of tunnels covering all of Propast and beyond. 
I don't know how far it goes. This is amazing. Is this how you guys get around? For the most part. Some of the nests are only accessible from above ground, but you can get pretty much anywhere from here. Come on. Wait, where are we going? You spoke with Queenie. You know I helped Nella with that... device. The one that killed all those people. You didn't know, and neither did Nella. You're right. But someone did. Someone does, and we're gonna put it right. Mr. London has a warehouse down here. It's where I pick up and make deliveries. It was just a job, but that's where we're going. To find evidence to connect Watty Corp to the bombing. This warehouse, is that where London keeps his unlicensed dream machines? He keeps everything in there. Why? I need one. For after we clear Nella's name. Long story. Tell me later. We need to go. It's only a matter of time before the eyes start digging deeper. Alright, uh, before I continue, I will be right back. Okay, let's continue. I came as fast as I could. Are you okay? Perfectly. You know Zoe. Hey Zoe, this is yours. You dropped it when... Boom. I was following you. I didn't know who you were working for back then. I saw what happened. The man who pulled you away, he didn't notice you dropping that. I thought the eye took it. I've been wanting to return it. What is it? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Let's get a move on before the eyes figure out where we are. Wait, what exactly is it? I don't remember carrying anything. But it has been a while, so maybe I just forgot. What is that? I can't tell what that is. Nella handed me this box minutes before she... before the incident. I'd forgotten all about it until Abby gave it back to me. Oh, that's right! I forgot that Nella handed me this box. Well, there's gotta be something really, really important in this, then. Why would this be so important to Nella? It makes no sense. It's a Watilla pin. Why would this be so important to Nella? Hmm. That's really bizarre. I almost want to have like Mira take a look at it and see if there's something hidden in it. If there's a hidden camera in it or something. Fuck! We lost power to the gates. They must know you're down here. We'll have to use the manual overrides. It requires two people, some sort of security measure. I'll show you how it works. Go ahead, Abby. Okay, Zoe, you can pass through now. After this is over, can we please leave Propast and go somewhere that has an actual sun? And no battle suits. I promise. You're not coming with us. I'm going to make sure you have time to do what you need to do. She'll take care of the eyes. Is that safe? Don't worry about me. I've done this before, plenty of times. See you soon, babe. Be careful. Always am. Hannah, I- Stop. Oh, me too. I'm happy to see you guys are okay. What you said to Abby, it made a difference. She stopped using the dream machine. And after you found me, I realized I couldn't just keep hiding. I promised Abby we'd get out of Europolis. I'm thinking Mumbai. Why Mumbai? Don't laugh, but... I had a dream about it. About those dreams? Visions. They are more like visions, right? Or like peeking through a curtain across a, a, a divide. There's another world there. I've seen it. Have you been there? I have. And you dream yourself across? 
I can, but only by connecting to a dream machine. I thought I was the only one. Me too. What does that mean? I don't know. But we'll find out. Together. Okay, so you know the drill. Once the gate opens, you need to go through and hold the lever down. Push it down. All right, I'm coming through. Don't let go or I'll be sliced ham. There's no, like, safety stop on these that stop them from closing if there's somebody inside? So what happened? Nailer, the device? The detonator was supposed to trigger an electromagnetic burst. You know, to disrupt communications and mess with the eye battlesuits. But the EMP generator got switched out with an antimatter chamber. Jesus. Lucky for you, it had limited range. They weren't trying to wipe Caprova off the map. I guess they just wanted to make a point. Frame manifesto. Let's do this. Same as last... Do you hear that beeping? Hmm? What is that? I don't... Yeah, it's oh, coming from you. Oh, is it the pin? You. It's the pin, isn't You're it? You're beeping. It's... I think it's the pin. Yeah. I knew there was something up with this pin. Is that giving me a direction? It's beeping. What is this? Some sort of holographic storage? I don't know, but it's reacting to something down here. Let's track it down. Come on, follow me. All right, so this way, I think. Frame manifesto. Remove another party from the election. And shut down the city. Full curfew, everyone stays at home, hooked up to their dream machines. What he wins. So where did the antimatter come from? London's a stickler for detail. He'd always make sure everything that moved in and out of his warehouse is scanned and catalogued. Paranoia, maybe? Covering his ass. Anyway, when I picked up that final piece, the one that was supposed to be an EMP generator, I noticed it had a Watty Corp reference code in their system. I didn't think much about it. I mean, they make everything else, so why not? If we can find one of those antimatter chambers, along with the tracking information... We may be able to connect Watty Corp with the device. We can prove they were behind the attack. And the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Or maybe we get killed. I'd say our odds are 50-50. Almost there, I think. It's getting a lot more frequent. Oh, it's gotta be this. I think this is it. Um... What is this? It's a... a singularity, I think. One of the original wire access points from before the collapse. That's pretty cool. It must have fallen off the grid. Let me check if it's... It's active. So the Syndicate has no idea this exists. But I can't establish a connection to my iris. Or protocols, probably. It has a holographic port. It might be able to read physical data, and it's blinking at the same rate Nella's package is beeping. It's like it wants to connect. I guess we should do what it asks. Nella Vilcek, owner of Nella Bytes. I'm leaving this message. To Manifesto party leadership has not authorized its operation. Marta Ribas has no knowledge of what's about to happen. I am acting of my own free will as part of a Manifesto splinter group. We're tired of... <sighs> Marta Ribas believes in politics. She's an idealist. I wish more people were like her, but the truth is... Democracy is dead. The corporates won. The elections are a facade. It's all a big, fat, festering lie. A show put on by our syndicate puppet masters to appease the proletariat. Whoever wins this autumn, it won't change a goddamn thing. They have made sure of that. They own them all. Everyone's corrupted. Everyone. We can't let this go on. We need to shake things up, start fresh. This is why... 
This is why I'm taking action today. I have been asked to detonate a non-lethal EMP charge in front of the I headquarters on Kaprova. This custom-built charge was designed to disable I communications, sabotage their operations, and immobilize their battlesuits. It's a... a... message. A loud, bold message, but... <sighs> it's just another lie. The non-lethal EMP charge has been replaced with a very lethal antimatter device. The detonation will kill me, along with anyone else caught in the blast. She knew? There will be casualties. Military and... and civilian. They'll accuse Ribas of harboring radicals and inciting violence. Manifesto will be destroyed. They don't know that I know. If they did, I'd be dead. But... I need to go through with this. Because if I don't... Nothing changes. If I go to the authorities or the press, they'll sweep it all under the rug and make me disappear. They're good at that. If I carry out their plans, however, everyone pays attention. They'll have no choice. And then afterwards? Expose the cunts. The ones pulling the strings. The ones who built the fucking bomb. What a corp. I'll be a terrorist and a murderer, but so will they, and they have a lot more to lose. Lucky for me, they've been arrogant and sloppy. That's how I found out. And they've left evidence for someone to... E-N-N-I-N-G. Penning. The chamber was swapped out before I could... And track this part back to Watikorp. Decrypt this message with a dead drop signal embedded in the local hardwire, which will be triggered the moment my iris goes dark. I'll have to trust that the right people will follow the right signals down into the underground. I'm... I'm truly sorry that people are going to get hurt. Killed. I wish there was some other way. I just don't know what I can... Jesus. I can't believe Nella did what she did. The people she hurt. Killed. I can't tell Hannah the truth. She'll just blame herself. We have to get Watty for this, or those people will have died in vain. Most of it was garbled, but Watty's involved. Nella confirmed it. And there was one word, or maybe a name, Penning. A code name of some sort. I don't know, there's no wire access, so we can't look it up. Maybe Mira can restore the rest of the recording. If anyone can, it will be her. If it helps establish a connection between Manifesto and Watty Corp... She can help us connect the dots. And it's a safe place for me to dream. Let's head to the warehouse. I don't know how long Abby will be able to hold off the troops. Will she be okay? She's resourceful. And smart. I can't believe Hannah was just right there, like ten feet away, and she didn't hear everything that Nella just said. I mean, she was close enough. Weird. Anyway, Nella knew. She actually knew, and she still went ahead with it. Just to shake things up. Uh, it sounded like, yeah, just to shake things up and make something change. Otherwise, I guess she thought it was hopeless and everything would just be stuck the way it is, and she might be right. She still knew. She knew that it would kill people. Not just herself. just recently. That's what all this is about? Parallel worlds? Sort of. There's something happening. In this world and the other that threatens the dream. The dream? It's what keeps reality 
real. Without the dream, things stop existing. It's like a blueprint for everything. That makes as much sense as anything else, I guess. And you need to fix it. I have to. Watercorp and the Dream Machine play a part on this side of the Divide. I need to find out what's going on on the other side. Is there anything I can do here? If there is, I'll let you know. For now, I need a Dream Machine that can't be tracked or shut down remotely. Oh my what god, this place this is place? huge! I don't actually know. Parts of it are really old, but those luminescent tubes... I wonder if they have something to do with the knot vents above. Knot vents? Something Queenie said. There's something odd about all of this. I feel weird, like my bones are vibrating. We're close. Come on. Why is my skin... Jesus. I am fading. What? London's warehouse is the next door over. She's fading. So whatever I need to do in the dream world, I need to do it now. Like, really, really soon, apparently. Or... Or what? Do I just die? If I fade, what happens? This is it. Hold on, I'll open the door. Just follow my lead and I'll... Uh-oh. Fuck! Eyes! Go ahead. I'll distract them. The hell you will! You wouldn't last a minute. I'll take care of the stormtroopers. You get the antimatter device and your dream machine. But I don't... We're wasting time. You need to do this. Look for a blue box with the letters D-E-W on it. Dew. That's all I remember. Grab an antimatter chamber, scan it, download the tracking information from their systems, and get the hell out of Dodge. But don't open this door from your side. Wait for me. When it's all clear on this side, I'll open it again. Okay? I'm not... Yeah. Okay. Blue box, due. Good luck. Never needed it. See you soon. Alright, let's do this and let's try to do it fast. 